SHIP's a, a project which works with 16 to 25 year olds in Herefordshire. Um, it works um, across a whole different spectrum of different uh, interventions to work with homelessness. So SHIP is created because, because there is a need. There is a huge housing problem in Hereford and especially for disaffected young people. About overcoming barriers and about them engaging in wider activities um, and for them to also to, to gain confidence in, in new skills. Well, SHIP set up on a number of values um, and the, the values are around about being first of all young people focused, that's the most important thing, um, being led by the young people. Um, certainly uh, the, the staff sign up to that sort of ethos that everything about them and the way that they work is about making sure young people's lives are better. Um, a lot of people are interested in, in cooking and you know they don't all know how to cook and they want to learn. And um, so we're we're sort of we're kind of on the line of doing budget cooking, um, healthy option where possible. So once you, once we you can cook once you cook this, it might be a good idea. I don't know what you think, but get three or four of you together and um, sort of share the cost of the ingredients. Oh. And get this on, on 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 most nights, I'd I'd get over here. I'd leave at like quarter to eleven, I'd get over here for about eleven and then I'd start pitching up and by the time I've set everything up, all my layers and that, it'd be quarter to twelve because there was a period like where I was phoning my sister every day and every day like clockwork it was quarter to twelve and I'd ring her and like, then I'd spend half hour on the phone to her and then I'd go to sleep. It's definitely not easy, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. But some kids think it'll be cool. They won't be told off, they won't be told what to do, they can go and get well, used to their mates. <laughs> put it this way, I, I thought it was cool and uh, and I'd had people who had done it speak to me about it. I, I've got friends in Coventry which have been homeless and they've said to me it's not easy and they've explained all the downfalls, they've explained all the perks and I thought, I thought it, I just thought it would be fun, I thought it, I'd have my freedom, which I did, I got my freedom, but your freedom comes at a cost. My mum moved away to France when I was 16 and um, I decided I didn't want to go with her and uh, I needed somewhere to live and my friends told me about SHIP and told me what they did and I got in contact with them and they helped me find a place to live. Luana is our, um, an ex-service user of ours uh, and she came back to SHIP um, wanting to help out, wanted to give something back to SHIP and um, she was very interested in the life coaching project and so she's come on board and she is um, volunteered to become a mentor. We've got two people on the mentoring course and it's about them um, working around the three four A's and uh, they will be kind of like assisting and befriending new residents and helping them to engage in wider activities themselves. Basically um, seeing what SHIP did for me and other people. I mean my sister's involved with SHIP as well, she lives in one of the four A's. Um, made me want to start working with young people and um, I figured the best way to do that is to start volunteering and build up experience. What would you have done if SHIP hadn't been around? Absolutely no idea. <laughs> I'd probably be living in a cardboard box somewhere.